In this demonstration, we're going to look at how we can use IPAM to manage IP addressing. So IPAM stands for IP Address Management. So what we have here is I've come into my IPAM utility on my IPAM server. If we just look at the IP address space that we have in place here, it's just giving us some information about what an IP address space is. So as it says here, it just helps us to manage IP addresses on the network by discovering and monitoring IP address usage. So what we've got here is we've got IP address blocks, we've got inventories, and we've got range groups. So let's go for the IP address blocks to start with. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to create a new IP address block. So what we'll do here is we'll come to tasks. What we'll do is we'll add an IP address block. And then what we'll do is we'll just fill out our little table. So we're going with the subnet of 172.16.0.0. Prefix length or subnet mask is going to be 16. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to leave all of the other defaults with the exception of the description, which is head office. So you can see the start IP address on this subnet and the end IP address on this subnet. And we'll select OK. That's now created, as we can see here, my IP address block. Next thing we're going to do here is come to our IP address inventory. So the purpose of the IP address inventory is to give us information about things that are already out there on the network. So what we're going to do here is come to our tasks. And in our tasks here, we're going to add an IP address. Then on the IP address, what we'll do here is we'll just start filling out the information. So what I'm putting in here is I'm putting in 172.16.0.1, put in the MAC address, manage by service IPAM, device type is routers, it's in use, it's static assignment. I'm not going to bother with the assignment date, expiry date, and I'll put in description head office, so we'll select OK. And we'll also add a second one, so we'll do tasks again. And at this point here, we'll add another IP address. And what we want to do here is add an IP address this time for a host. So similar sort of thing, we'll just fill out the table. And what we've done here is put in 172.16.0.101, specify the MAC address, and we're going for a host for the device type. Now we'll come to our DHCP reservation tab. And what we want to do is fill out some information in this tab as well. So what we've done here is we turn on a little tick box to associate the MAC to the client ID. We specify the reservation server name, so the DHCP server is going to be lon-dc1. It's going to be in the datum. It's going to go into the 172.16.0.0. The reservation name will be web server. And in the reservation type, we've turned on both DHCP and also boot P as well. So the next thing to do at this point here is just select our DNS record tab. And then, again, fill out the table. And what we've done here is we've put in device name, web server. Datum.com will be our forward lookup zone. Specify the server responsible. Not going to bother with the reverse lookup zone and we will automatically create the DNS records for this IP address as well. So at this point here, all we're going to do here is just select OK. This is now going to go away and create our entry. So as we can see, the records are now created. So what we'll do here is we'll just go to our Active Directory Domain Controller slash DHCP server slash DNS server, lon DC1. And within here, the first thing we'll do is we'll just launch up DHCP. Within DHCP, all we'll do is we'll have a look here. We'll have a look at IP version 4. We'll have a look at our reservations and our scope. And what we can see is there's our web server where we put in our reservation. So that's good. And then we'll just have a look at our DNS server. And we just want to make sure that the record was created. So if we have a look at our four lookup zones, have a look at datum.com, have a look down here. Oh, there's web server there. Static assignment and that has come from our IPAM server. And that's the end of this demonstration of managing our IP allocation and DNS via IPAM. Thank you.